Guys, I'm very excited for today's video because we're gonna unbox and take a close look at these two Wipeout, original 1995 Wipeout race ship replicas by the Japanese company Totaku. Now, Totaku is known for producing small replicas, mostly of brands or characters that are related to the PlayStation brand. So as you can see here, it's an official licensed PlayStation product. Uh, so they also produce God of War replicas or um, Crash Bandicoot and stuff like this. If you go to their website, you can see the full collection. If you look at the box, you can see this is number two of the collection, uh, this ship. And this is number 18 of that same collection. I don't know how many replicas are in that uh, in that collection overall. Again, if you go to their website, you can check it out. I never owned a PlayStation, so I don't really have a relationship to most of those characters, but I do remember vividly going into a big shopping mall, 1995, little 13 year old me, seeing the PlayStation for the first time and on that demo unit in that mall, it was Wipeout that was running and it completely blew my mind. The 3D graphics, I mean, you have to put it into the context of the time. It looked amazing. It was smooth. It, the whole design of the Wipeout brand, you know, the packaging design and everything of the game, as someone who loved shapes and colors and was generally interested in design, this completely blew my mind. Uh, and obviously beyond the game, I did play the game at friends' places and stuff, and I did finish the um, PlayStation Vita title, which I think was called Wipeout 2045. Don't let me lie. But I finished that one. That was great fun as well. So beyond the actual game, I actually genuinely love the design of those ships. So I had to buy both of them. And uh, from what I can see, just from the outside of the box, they look amazing. So let's look at the box first before we open it. I'm going to just take this one as an example. They're both pretty similar. Uh, again, it's a PlayStation licensed product. This one is called AG Sys, number 18 of the collection. Not much on the front, not much on the side. And then on the back, you get a little bit of a breakdown with an image. It's very reminiscent of the original ship that you would see in the game. Just original release years, 1995. The game is Wipeout and it talks about know the game is set in 2052 and so on gives you a bit of the the background narrative of the game shapes the universe but what i noticed is on the bottom look at that there's a gamestop logo and uh basically it's like manufactured and imported by gamestop europe services so i don't know whether those figures originally were meant to be like a gamestop exclusive i did buy them here in the uk at a game shop and you can see it on this one there's a little bit of residue left here from the on sale sticker that definitely said reduced now and nobody bought it it was clearly hanging you can see the edges are a bit used there clearly hanging on a shelf for quite a while nobody wanted it but i want it so here it is uh, let's look at this box as well it comes in a nice purple color again has the gamestop branding on the bottom and the back is is very very similar obviously the ship has a different name but again year of release 1995. So I wouldn't have bought them, I think, if it would have been a replica of the newer games. I really like the original design of the 1995 game, so, so that's why they really spoke to me. Let's open them. Let's just randomly start with this one. I'm gonna tear... Oh, this is painful, isn't it? Ah, oh, I know you toy collectors out there, you're like, what are you doing? Why are you opening it? This is... Oh. And they feel like I'm raping the box. I'm sorry. Sorry about this. It has to be done. I was expecting this mess and I've prepared my scissors. So here are my scissors. Sorry, I just hit the microphone a bit. I hope that wasn't too loud. Gonna open it right here, take the back off and let's take a look. I'm not doing a great job in like neatly unboxing those, am I? Anyway, I think I'm just gonna take both of them out of the box now. Let's take a look. It comes with some kind of printed back plate that sits behind the ship. Ah, come on. Ah, here we go and we get it out. I'm also gonna measure those ships because that was one of the things that I wasn't really clear about when I bought them uh, online. How big are they actually, right? What is the length of those replicas? Let's open the second one. Let's take a look. Uh, to be honest, if I, have to, if I would have to make a decision between that design and this design, I think I'll go for this one. It's even more simple, it's even more iconic. Just love it, it looks great. So again, comes with a little back plate. And here they are, just next to each other. So they sit in this kind of plastic packaging. I'm going to be a little bit careful because I don't want to, don't want to break that quite fragile-looking plastic stick here that holds them in place. And you can just slot them out like this. Um, and the same applies to this one, I hope. So again, it's it's quite well protected. You know, it, the packaging is very well done. I don't think those could 
possibly break as they are inside the box. So we're opening it up and just pulling it out. Here we have to be a bit careful because of the this kind of bridge part, bridge part here, which uh, seems to be quite fragile as well. Uh, okay, that's sweet. I thought you could possibly kind of move them in position. Oh, you can, oh, you can. So this one seems to be really loose. I had the suspicion if you were looking at this packaging that it had been opened before. I mean, I got those for very, very cheap. Um, but that's pretty cool, right? So you can put them in like an angled racing position, going up, going down. Gives you a bit, bit of freedom to pose them. However, this one, I assume it has the same ball joint down here, but it's a bit, I don't wanna break it. So I'm not gonna move it. Uh, I assume you could move it, but uh, we look down there can you see that there's a ball if we look at this one let me just spin that a bit uh, there's a ball too so i think it's the same the same joint uh, however this one is much looser what i'm going to do is i'm going to zoom in a little bit for you guys do it like this and then place them here so you get a closer look so that's one that's the other one now what we're going to do it's a bit shame i just really don't want to apply any pressure to this. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, I got it. I got it. It just required a little bit of fiddling, but it sits much less loose in the joint. Okay, so now you can position it similar to that one. Great. So overall, if you look at those, I mean, in my opinion, they're absolutely beautiful. It's, it's such an iconic design of the time and if you think about it why they had to be designed like this if you look at the original gameplay those are very very simple polygon shapes right because they couldn't design extremely complex shapes so they were restricted by the limitations of the hardware of the playstation so they had to come up with really simplified ship designs um, and and i think they did such a fantastic job with this i forgot the name now but i looked it up uh, online on the wikipedia page of wipeout is the name of the designer and I think they just did such a great job like in, in just minimalizing and reducing polygons on those shapes, really creating a simplified shape which really looks futuristic and just beautiful at the same time. So for me, this is quite like an iconic, iconic design for the time for the mid 90s. One thing I did notice already when it was in the in the packaging is look at this so there's a bit of dirt here right um, along along the exhaust uh, on the side however look there's also like a little drop it nearly looks like a coffee stain or something for lack of a better description uh, i don't know if that's intentional and if that's like in every version of this ship or whether maybe someone just took it out of the box mistreated it for a few days put it back inside and said i want to return it and you know caused a bit of trouble i don't know uh, but it doesn't really bother me because if you look at the original art of this ship, it is actually supposed to be quite dirty. Um, and this model nearly looks uh, a bit too clean. Uh, you know, the original was, was much dirtier and had much more like these kind of smoke lines along the vents and stuff like that. So, so that's that ship. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. And let's look at the other one really quick. The RG Sys, I think it's called. This one. So again, I, I, I don't dare to move it a lot. They both come with those quite nice stylish plates they sit on, uh, which is is really nice. It, of course, it would have been much cooler if they would have like a magnet in there. You know how you can buy some toys these days or like lamps and stuff that just have like a magnet and actually make it hover. Oh my God, how cool would that be if we would have like actually hovering little replicas of those ships. But again, absolutely great design and look at the simplicity of this shape right you could literally build this with like what six seven polygons and then build the rest on it like the rest of the detail with textures so really really neat um, this actually is translucent so i don't know if you can see that there's no detail as such in the cockpit um, oops i'm moving it away from the camera because i'm looking at the model there is not a lot of detail actually no detail inside the cockpit but that's fine uh, because those models are not huge and uh, if you would have it rest on your desk like this then I, you wouldn't even look wouldn't even be able to see any detail so i guess it would be a waste waste of work and then it has this little bridge back here uh, leading to i don't know what is this like the power unit the engines on the back that power the ship whatever it is i'm sure there are very detailed technical breakdowns of all those ships uh, i didn't look at those i gotta admit but yeah the design incredible 
Actually, now that I'm looking at this one, previously that one was my favorite, just colors, shape, it was perfect. Now looking at this, I'm not sure anymore. I actually really like this one. I think that looks brilliant. Absolutely gorgeous uh, with, with this iconic writing on the front, which obviously are like Western uh, letters, but uh, they do look Japanese. The whole thing looks so Japanese, right? It, it feels, and I think that's also kind of what we blew me away when I saw the game for the first time in 1995 with the packaging and all that. It just had such an, a cool, advanced Japanese design feel to it. Yeah, loved it. I love it now, love it at the time. So for me, obviously, yeah, there's a lot of nostalgic memory in there as well, um, why I love these ships. But yeah, let's measure them. Before we conclude the video, I'm gonna give you guys Another look at my great tape measure that I keep using for those those uh, toy unboxings that I do sometimes. So here we go. This ship, look at that. It's 10 centimeters or 3.5 inches, roughly. Let's let's look at it together. So I think this one is actually slightly longer than the other one. Ah, uh, maybe not 10. Maybe it's more like 9.5. Can you see that? Just trying to fix the camera there. Sorry for the terrible camera work, but you get the idea. And that one, so that's 9.5 centimeters, and that one is probably more like nine, right, nine. But when I saw them online and I ordered them, I thought they're gonna be much smaller, to be honest. I expected them to be, to be smaller and have less detail. Uh, however, I'm positively surprised. They do have quite a neat amount of detail all around, right? Like, let's just look at this one again. I try to get the camera sharp there, but you know, all this little, detail here and the ridges that go across the whole ship, you know, the indentation in the front, you know, that indicates maybe like an air vent sucking air in or something. The little stairs, the graphics, right? The graphics on the ship, look at that. Is that not amazing? Is that not absolutely incredible? The line work here, the logos there. So it is really, I don't know, they paid a lot of attention to the detail, I feel. And I, I thank them for that. These are on sale right now. Uh, I got them for five pounds here in the UK. Uh, so that's very, very cheap, I feel. And if you are a Wipeout fan, they are definitely worth checking out. Incredible, small, neat little replicas to have on your desk, you know, at work, at home. Uh, they, they kind of fit any environment. So let me know what you guys think. I'm more than happy, obviously, to answer questions to this. So if you want to know anything, if you want me to check anything out related to, to those two ships, then leave that down in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. Otherwise, I would appreciate if you leave it a like, if you share the video uh, with other nerds that might appreciate this kind of content. Normally I do more video game content on my channel, but every now and then I do an unboxing and, and review video like that. So again, I hope you enjoyed it. I'd appreciate if you subscribe to the channel, leave a like, hit the bell, do the other 29 things that are required to stay up to date with the channel. And I hope to see you again. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Take care and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Bye.